So this piece is part of a much larger body of work that I'm doing right now, which is embedded in a lot of time over the last two years that I spent in Pakistan, where my mom lives. And um, so over multiple trips, I documented a lot of objects and pictures of religious value in the public and private spaces um, that were showing signs of neglect. So a lot of my work is based on existing materials. I document and I collect a lot of material, which sometimes after years develop into some sort of work. In retrospect, I remember as a child, I would spend a lot of time in, uh, in activities such as making pictures or, or objects with things that I would find around the house. And I think that is still uh, present in my work to date. The painting process that is used in this piece is inspired by my training of miniature painting, but it is not a miniature painting. So it's a very loose gouache painted on gold leaf on Wesley paper, which is essentially the paper that is used to paint miniatures on. So I created this piece using all that knowledge and information that I have from this very rich and long tradition of miniature painting, but the painting uh, created for the Gardner Museum is at the same time uh, quite a departure from the traditional form of miniature painting. So last summer I came across this cheaply produced plaster cast of the Kaaba door in my mother's house in Lahore. Kaaba is considered to be the house of God, also known as the sacred house. Every Muslim turns to face in the direction of the Kaaba during their formal ritual of daily prayers. This plaster cast, this cheap plaster cast, it was hanging askew with a sizable layer of dust, which is not surprising for my mom, uh, where um, chaos takes another meaning altogether. But uh, it made me take note of this error uh, in the everyday. Error in this case is suggestive of the human element that coexists with the monolithic ideals of uh, truth or perfection. So I'm, I'm trying to look at this paradox that exists between the potent religious expression and what it may uh, look like in the everyday. So in a way, domesticizing the, the religious space. 